I'm Kara Baker, and I'm a software consultant in the Professional and Client Services Department of Walters Kluhr. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom view in CCH Access Workstream. Once you open the Workstream application, there are several items listed in the navigation pane. These are called views. A view is simply a list of information with specific criteria. Workstream provides several default views that are shown with the black and white icons. The middle window shows the current view selected, which in my case is my open projects. Now you can work with these default views, but it's often necessary to create a custom view with different criteria selected. A very common custom view in Workstream is to create a due date list. To create a due date list or any custom view, it's helpful to start with one of the default views. A great one to start with is project status. I'm going to double click to open it. This opens the view as an additional tab, but you may notice my open projects is still open. But now that I have project status open, I can customize it. To begin customizing the view, use the panes on the right hand side of the screen. I have the filters and columns panes open. Now, if you don't have these panes open, we can open them up from the views ribbon and by checking the applicable box. These panes can be opened and closed at any time. Now, to begin customizing my view, I'm gonna start with the filters pane. This pane includes a lot of filters to help you decide what items to include in the view you can see that they are organized into different sections. The dates section includes the filter for due date. Now most fil filters have options. The due date filter includes options for equals, does not equal, and is between. So you can create a filter for a specific date or date range. I'm going to create a view to see all the projects due on April 15th. So I will enter a filter of equals to and then enter my date of April 15th, 2015. Click go to apply the filter. You can have multiple filters applied to the same view. Now that my filter is applied, I can use the columns pane to customize the columns shown and even the group selection to group the projects in the view. Now this is a view that I will likely use throughout busy season. So I'm going to save it so I don't have to apply the same filter every time I'm in Workstream. On the Views ribbon, choose Save View. This adds the view to the navigation pane and I can name it. Now my custom view is in color, so I can easily tell the difference between the default views with the black and white icon and my custom view in color. Finally, to help you organize your views, you can add a new folder. Right click anywhere in the open area of the navigation pane and choose new folder. Right click the folder to rename it. Drag and drop your view into the folder. Thank you for watching this video. For additional Workstream training resources, click the link below to visit our training and consulting webpage.